Namaste, I am Pratibha Kini. Welcome back to my channel. Do you get knee pain after or while dancing? Are you looking for ways to overcome it? Then this video is for you. You could do all these exercises at home or absolutely anywhere. Dancers assume pain and even injury are part of the job and get used to dancing in spite of pain. But pushing through can lead to more problems down the road. I am going to show you some knee friendly leg exercises to prevent knee pain due to repetitive stress. This video is not a medical advice or a treatment plan. It is intended for general education. So if a physical evaluation by your doctor has ruled out a serious injury, only then try these exercises. Otherwise, please do not. I repeat, do not perform these exercises without your doctor's advice. I hope you checked my other videos on warm up and stretching. If not, please go check them out and warm up well before you do the exercises I am going to demonstrate. Do subscribe to my channel for some useful videos. Like always, I will be sharing a useful tip. So do watch till the very end. Let's get started. Toe raises and calf raises. Stand with your feet hip distance apart or slightly closer. Come on to your toes, drop your heels down and raise your toes. Alternate between the toe and heel raise. This should stretch the calf and muscles around the knee. A scale down modification would be to hold on to the wall for support. Repeat at least 10 times. An advanced modification would be to do the same thing on a raised surface or you could also do this on stairs. The next exercise is wall sit. Form a right angle at your hips and your knees with back flat against the wall and your heels on the ground. Adjust your feet so your knees are directly above your ankles. Engage your abdominal muscles. You should feel slight pressure on the quad area. If this is painful, you could either stop at 45 degrees and not sink in deep. This will take a bit of pressure off your knees and lighten the load on the quads. Or hold the wall sit for lesser time. Listen to your body. And repeat it at least three times. Hold the posture for 30 seconds. The next exercise is toe roll-ins. Sit straight with your legs outstretched and far apart. Roll your feet and knees towards each other so that you are pigeon-toed. Hold it for two seconds and then roll them out. Make sure the back of your knee is firmly pressed to the ground. Repeat this 10 times. The next exercise is knee folds. Lie on your right side and grasp your left heel with your left hand. Use a looped belt or towel if you have trouble reaching. Pull your left foot towards your buttocks until you feel a gentle stretch on the front of your thigh. Hold for 20 to 30 seconds breathing normally. Roll to your left side, repeat with the right leg. You could also do this while you stand upright. Repeat it three to five times on each leg. The next exercise is calf stretch. Sit down on the floor and stretch your legs. Use a towel or a scarf to wrap it around your foot. Relax your ankle and pull the towel or band towards you and release. Perform the exercise for 10 times on each leg. Repeat this on the other leg as well. The next exercise is seated leg lifts. Sit with your legs outstretched. Lift one leg at a time by keeping your knees straight. 
Repeat this 10 times on each leg. If you find this difficult, you could place your palm on the floor for support. If you find this easy, try lifting both the legs together with or without support as per your comfort. Make sure to not bend knees at any point of time. The next exercise is bridge pose. I'll be showing you the normal bridge pose, scale down version, as well as an advanced modification. Do it as per your comfort. Lie face up, bend knees and place feet on the ground, shoulder width apart, arms down at your sides. Squeeze glutes and push through heels to lift your hip off the ground resting on just shoulders. If you have knee discomfort or difficulty bending your knee at 90 degrees, try placing your feet farther apart. If you can't raise your hips enough to reach the full bridge position, try raising them a few inches, just enough to activate the muscles. If you're comfortable, you could raise one leg up. Thus, the other leg is working slightly more than before. Repeat the same on the other side. This is a great glute and hamstring strengthener plus it works on the IT band. When the IT band is not strong enough, you'll end up having knee pain. Thus this exercise prevents it. Repeat this 10 times. Next exercise is balanced toe taps. Bend both your knees slightly, lean forward, make sure you do not round your back. Balance on one leg and tap the other foot to the front, back and to the side without dropping the foot on the floor during transition. Continue to do the sequence for 10 times on each side and repeat it on the other side. Here the knee of the pivot leg is working more than the moving leg. For modification, you could drop your foot down between transitions. The next exercise is chair pose. Start with your feet together and chest lifted. Sit back as if you were sitting on a chair. Breathe in as you sink down. Keep weight in heels and Raise arms up through fingers. Your weight is put into your hip sockets to ensure your knees aren't inching out in front of your toes. Hold the pose for 20 seconds. Continue to breathe normally as you hold. You should be able to gaze at your toes while squatting down. If not, push your hips more back. Repeat it for 10 times. If you're feeling adventurous, do a warrior three pose or single leg deadlift hold. Balance on one leg with knee slightly bent. Hinge over, lifting your back leg towards the wall behind you. Lean your torso over, keeping your back flat and your core tight. Hold in this position. Do not let your back round or your other foot touch down. Straighten the knee of the balancing leg if possible and stretch your hands parallel to the floor if you feel comfortable. Hold for 20 seconds. Come back to initial position and repeat for five times on each leg. If all these exercises are done correctly, you will observe that your knee is working all the time. This boosts the circulation of synovial fluid which is used to lubricate joints. Thus, it is very helpful for people suffering from knee problems. Remember, your knee is not a muscle. It's a joint between your thigh bone, shin bone and kneecap. Therefore, knee stretches should target the muscles and tendons that surround the knee. I have already shown hip flexor stretch, calf, glutes and hamstring stretches in my previous videos, which help immensely to avoid knee pain. So do check them out and do all of these stretches and strengthening exercises regularly to reap benefits. 
knee problems are neither inevitable nor untreatable there are things you can do to keep knee problems from worsening getting a proper diagnosis adjusting your dance training strengthening the muscles around your knee to make it more stable and most importantly listening to your body if it hurts there is a reason and you should probably stop or change what you're doing do not neglect if you have pinching or acute pain a chiropractor or consultation with your physiotherapist is essential to determine if you have a knee injury having said all this i will give you a very useful self care tip to get some relief from knee pain or any pain due to stress and strain the method is called rise r for rest take a break if necessary from your normal routine to reduce repetitive strain on your knees give it some time to heal and help prevent further damage i for ice ice reduces both pain and inflammation you could use an ice pack wrapped in a thin towel for no longer than 20 minutes c for compression this helps prevent fluid build up in damaged tissues and maintains knee alignment and stability look for a compression bandage that's lightweight breathable and self adhesive it should be tight enough to support your knee without interfering with circulation you could also use knee caps but don't get used to dancing with them for long term look for solution instead e for elevation to help reduce swelling try propping your strained leg on a pillow or sitting in a recliner only if you have muscle pain or stiffness use heat treatment you may experience temporary pain relief by applying a heat pack or hot water bottle to the painful area on your knee that's all i had for today give me a thumbs up and click that like button if you think this was helpful and share it with your friends be sure to subscribe to my channel because i post some super useful content every saturday at 7 pm thank you so much for watching and i will see you next week